silicone flip clock fans. We had a great day today. This is what it looks like when I drive around for my job. When I went to Sam's Club, look what I found. Paper towels and toilet paper. It's a real good day. So I'm just going to show you what's going on around flip clock fans. And as you know, it's Father's Day recently. And check out what my adult child made for me. Look at that. It's a copal clock. I mean, that's just really meant a lot to me. And I really appreciate it, Elijah. I'm going to treasure that. I mean, that's crazy awesome. So what do we got going on around flip clock fans? Well, we got this box here with some boom box parts. And the box I'm using actually belongs to my cat, Schmore. Sorry, Schmore. I'm going to borrow this for a second. Anyway, this is, this is a mechanism that I had to try to fix because I've been having a terrible time um, with this clock. This is a Panasonic RE8345. I call it a boom box flip clock and the mechanism was all buggered up i mean it was destroyed uh, it was a bad design so i looked on ebay for a clock and here we got a magnavox 1r1773 and i just took a stab at it i thought well it looks like the same configuration and i got really lucky because it was exactly the same except totally different uh what do i mean by that well no the alarm numbers they were they were the same and uh now the tiles were different the flip tiles and the motor actually ran on 10 volts which is coming off the board here and the magnavox took what's normal like the 120 110 120 volt so i'm going to hardwire that into the, the main i actually had to change the digits took them off the panasonic and put it onto that mechanism so that's been a lot of fun and i'll show you that when i get it done well, the main reason i'm putting this video together is because somebody came to flip clock fans and had a question about a uh, GE 74310F and I happen to have one in flip clock fans basement dungeon well their clock had this wire that had worked loose and they wanted to know where it came from or, and I didn't want to take any chances so they asked to see if we could uh, chase down where it came from and so you see the wire comes off here goes around and it goes to the bottom of the flip clock where it's going is to what what is called an om omron switch so it's bringing power to this switch so you can see in the close up here that it just goes right with those other wires there on that one pole you just gotta saw that back and you'll be in shape that's the main reason why i put this video together but uh just want to say hello to you guys and see how things are going and the crazy thing around here is I'm actually in training to wear a watch. I haven't wore a watch in, in 20 years. So I bought this watch off eBay and it was a reasonable price. It was a off the shelf type thing or or store model, whatever, you know what I'm saying. And it's it's about the size of the one I want to get, which is a real nice one. I just noticed I got a lot of rose gold going on around here. I'm not sure what that's all about. But anyway, this is what's coming up. We got the 4th of July coming up and uh well, our family's going to go big this year, really big, uh, insanely big with the amount of money that was spent on these fireworks. And uh, I don't even, I'm not even going to tell you how much, but I just can't help thinking about how many flip clocks I could have bought with all this stuff. And it just makes you sick. But do you know why we do it? Because America, that's why we do it. Yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, we're going to keep the neighbors up, that's for sure. 